Hello and welcome. This is Naveen and we are back in Thought Jumper. I want to show you how you can use Thought Jumper to learn about anything. So Thought Jumper essentially helps you think. And because you can think, you can learn faster and better. And once you understand it yourself, you can also express yourself better. That's the philosophy behind. I'll start with the question, what is a thought? And I will say, okay, fair enough. Get me what is a thought. I can have many questions. It did come up with something. I will go ahead and explore that in a moment. And I want to say, because thought is a product of language, how does language work? Then I can click on it. And the moment I do that, it will again fetch some more notes. Let me do something. Let me, you know, pull all of this together. And I will go ahead and I want to know about these things. I want to know what is it an instance of. And I think that should be good enough. Uh, so quickly, it will fetch some more information. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm adding vectors uh, to give it a certain context. Once those vectors are in place, it's easy to use and it is fun uh, to browse. And you'll see the value of information suddenly becomes all the more rich. So I think we're, we've reached a place. I started with a notion or rather a question saying, what is a thought? So just as a marker, I will keep it here so that I remember this was my milestone that I want to make sure that I don't lose sight of. I'll go back and I also save this graph research in research using research about thought. I think that because it is what is a thought, I think this is a good app title there. I can go ahead and click save when I do that. The graph is saved. It's here in the graph library. So if anything goes wrong, I can come back here. I'll come back to Graph Explorer again. I'll continue my exploration. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the way this looks. So let me make it a little more readable. And yes, fair enough. So we have something to start with. Uh, our central thought here was what is a thought? So I'll go ahead and I will click on either of these what is a thought and i can see it is part of cognition is influenced by perception and it is again influenced by emotion and expressed through language affected uh, by attention to things so if you're not attending you won't understand it better so let me understand what language is and i can see that uh, it did bring some more interesting concepts here let us talk about these briefly so i can click on language and I, I i just hover on it says it's a cognitive skill uh which is uh, a phenomenon uh memory which is a cognitive function perception which is a cognitive process uh cognition which is a mental process thought which is a cognitive activity pragmatics which is a branch of linguistics sem semantics which is branch of linguistics syntax which is branch of ling linguistics morphology which is branch of linguistics so a lot of linguistics there so language in order to understand language it is broken and understood by different kinds of ling linguistics and there are several categories of information there so i think that's a that's a brilliant uh, way of looking at things briefly and uh, when you do that you can also navigate these using you know let's let's try this time see you know from pictures what can we understand about language and thought so i somebody's thinking and language you'll see that it's how two people communicate so language is a result of expressing your thoughts thoughts sometimes precede action so it's a lot of fun uh i would like to also know about uh thought again and see you know if i can ask better questions and see if i can contain that into a goal so uh, there are various theories on thinking that have been proposed over a period of time for features of a thought so i think this is interesting i will copy this 
in fact what i can do is i can go to the notes library and i will go back and i like the start so i'll go ahead and i'll say add to editor and when i do that you'll see that the note appears here i also like this image so i can go ahead and i can also go ahead and save this to the editor similarly i can you know go to the videos there are several videos on thoughts uh if i like any let's say for example these this one that i like so i can go to youtube i can come here i can right click and i can say add this to the editor and the moment i do that uh, you will notice that if i go back to my notes library and click on this button so it does have all of these together and this is with the citation and the link to the story from where it was captured so uh, you don't lose sight of where this image or where this you know thought came back from so uh, that's how you go about capturing your thoughts uh, asking questions i want to know you know since i've spent so much time thinking of talking about thought i want to know what is the thought process and uh, uh, how does a thought experiment work so i can turn that into a question again I can go ahead and say, what is a thought experiment? And when I do that, what is a thought experiment? It will again pull me some nodes. And OK, maybe I did something wrong. I'm on the wrong one. Perhaps that's why I did not pull it. So never the matter. It is still there i just have to click okay and when i do that you'll see that it will pull some more nodes of interesting uh you know uh, interesting nodes again so let me just go ahead and uh, click on these saying what is a thought experiment a thought experiment it involves a hypothetical scenario is type of a mental exercise creates an imaginary situation is used in philosophy is used in science and logic and god knows what and all of these things logic in turn is involves reasoning and uh, takes into account all of these things so uh, by having this quick understanding you can see how a thought experiment work now what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i will i will go ahead and i will go to a quest mode and i will ask a similar question saying what famous thought experiments thought experiments in the 21st century and i can click enter and when i do that you will notice that it is taking some time and what it has done now it has created a manifest of thoughts for me and these are the famous thought experiments the simulation argument the trolley problem the chinese man the experience machine the ship of theseus i can go ahead and choose a learning intent saying give me examples of the trolley problem and it will go ahead and break that into three examples for me uh, what it will also do is it will you know uh it did pull four uh, some things that i can read i can go ahead and you know go to that page and read that document or i can come back and i can watch a video and i can see it right here i have switched off the audio but i hope you get the drift similarly there would be questions which i can ask so i can say you know what give me top five interview questions and i'll click ok and i can go ahead and change it this time the top five interview i want to use the you know interview me learning intent the things here that you see these are learning intents you can understand something in different ways and when you click in on either of these intents you will get the results accordingly i should have switched these off i don't want them for now 
and you can see that there is a question and there are answers and there's a reasoning for that answer uh, this in itself i won't get into the details of it but i hope it gives you an understanding of how this works now suppose you want to you know go ahead and continue this question and say let me just copy this it is green which means it's complete let me copy this come back uh option e editor and i will paste this twice for reference and i will say is this answer correct and here i will ask my assistant eddie is this correct and i can end this saying eddie and i hope it works i hope there is not too much text here uh, sometimes it breaks because of the text uh, and I can just click and it says yes my answer is absolutely fine so I can do that in editor and uh, I can go through different kinds of thoughts see at what level of detail do I want to you know see something I can come back to the graph explorer I'll just close this one I'll come back to the graph explorer and go ahead and i can you know say that my thought was answered well for some reason i did lose my add node here so added node here so there may there may be a bug there but i can go ahead and i can create that node saying uh, what is a thought and on this particular node i can go ahead and i can edit this and say I uh, will copy everything from my editor here, and this is maybe what I wanted to do. So uh, this quickly shows you how you can go ahead and create your own questions, find your own answers, do your own exploration. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can, you know, also I would, I would link this to this particular quest. So uh, this quest was called famous thought experiments so i'll come back here and say famous famous thought experiments thought experiments i don't see it here for some reason did it did i not save it so let me go ahead and save this i can come back and see in the graph library i have it ready so i'll come back to graph explorer and now i can try this again saying famous thought experiments and yes it is here and i can go ahead and save this just to be sure because last time i did not save but it did this time i believe i can i'll click again yes yellow and blue means it goes back and it is saved now so that's how this works i hope you enjoyed the session we started with a quest about thought and then we turned it into a quest and when I went to that quest, that quest is loaded. So I can go ahead and, you know, continue this quest, add this to a goal, make sure that I, you know, show me all. Yes. And I can, when I added that to a goal, I can go ahead and click this goal, finish it. I can go back, I can say go to the editor, this is a good experiment marks my thought complete so i'll mark it complete and you will notice that the goal should have been marked complete i will try that again yes now it should be complete perfect so that's how it works i hope you uh get the drift thought jumper helps you think by giving you stimulus you can use this stimulus to create your own context ask your own questions and there are several ways in which you can go about learning something and in different kinds of formats and experiences it's a new generation intelligent learning experience i hope you enjoy it we are opening the beta soon sign up today and happy thought jumping <laughs>